I don't know if anything will help. We're never going to get her back, any of them. But it's going to save other families from having to deal with it later. This is never going to stop. These buildings are going to keep falling down. They're going to keep catching on fire. And nobody's going to know. Powerful words from the families of three Baltimore City firefighters who died in the line of duty as they take legal action now against both the department and the city. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Vic Carter. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. They say negligence cost them their loved ones, and they're suing to force change. And WJZ live along Stricker Street tonight. That's where that tragedy took place nearly one year ago. Kelsey Kushner with more on what's in the lawsuit. Kelsey. Vic, Rick, will the families of those three fallen firefighters and their lawyers step forward today announcing that lawsuit? They say that their deaths could have been prevented if the city demolished those homes. It's a stern call for the city to pay up. Thursday, the families of fallen firefighters Kenny Lacayo, Paul Butchram, and Kelsey Sadler announced their plan to sue the city of Baltimore. At a press conference, their lawyer spoke out saying the deaths of the three firefighters could have been prevented, calling it a result of negligence of the city and state. The firm said in its notice the city failed to demolish the condemned property, 205 South Stricker Street, prior to the collapse in January. They're also calling out the city for a mismanagement of money and violations of constitutional protections. The lawyers say personal injury, wrongful death, and survivor claims exceed $10 million. Kelsey Sadler's husband, Brandon, says he hopes the legal action will save other families from the pain he feels. Nobody should have to go through this, and it's miserable. And we live it every day, and I will live this every day for the rest of my life. And I don't want anybody else to have to deal with this, or their children, anybody. So something's got to change. And this comes after one week when Fire Chief Niles Ford announced he was stepping down from his position after an over 300-page report was published showing problems within the department. Reporting live, Kelsey Krishner for WJZ.